Hello and welcome everybody to my channel. Um, today we'll talk quickly about how to make uh, a metal deformation or how to deform metal using RBD. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, quick tutorial and like my video and subscribe for more content. Now let's go ahead. I'll just create a quick box. This is a box, polygon, polygonal mesh. I'll just make it thin. This side, like that, increase the subdivision. Not that much. And couple of here, make it square, look alike. Okay, to make it uh, sitting on the grid, right click on the Y uh, size, so size Y, copy parameter, and on the center, let's see. I want to make it exactly on the ground. So, past relative, and we want to have it by two. This zero is extra. Now it's exactly on the ground. I will add the uh, RBD material fracture, just to have it uh, quick fracturing uh, for the box. Okay, now we have it. I want to increase uh, the scattering point and make it 20. And change the seeds. Something like that. Anyway, that's good. <coughs> I will create a sphere that will hit sphere primitive. This sphere will hit uh, the surface and make it smaller, of course. Something like that. I transform it. Transform. I'll take it, tip it up. Make it more smaller. Like that. And take it all the way to the back. Yes. Another transform. I'll make it to the centroid. Now I'll animate this one at the beginning of the frame. We'll add frame 120. I'll take it all the way to here. Something like that. Okay. Now this is the RBD. I'll add the RBD salt bar. And wire it up, require geometry, the constraint, and the proxy. And this is the collision geometry. I'll add this one. And I want to make sure that in the collision that is a deforming static object. Already, I make it by default the ground plane is on. Let's have a look. Hold down. If I remove the constraint, it falls down. So I'll make the constraint a little bit faster. Uh, I will make it soft constraint. Let's have a look now. I'll add another box here so it can rest on. Box. This box is so big, I'll make it smaller and size a bit thinner and transform it okay, here and I'll merge them together. I will merge together both of the uh, geometry by using alt and add it here. Okay let's have a look now. I'll just decrease the constraint because it's very high compared to the size of this object. Very good. I'll even go lower. I'll increase the 
amount of fracture, scattering void and make it 50. And I will scatter it even more, scatter 1000 is too much, I'll make it 200. And oxygen free, and this is extra paranoid fracture. Let's have a look now. But here to make it work, scatter volume input. Still calculating. Very good. Let's have a look now. Where is my sphere? Yeah, here it is. See, the constraint is so strong. Let me make it even thinner something like that let's calculate again and have a look you know for the sphere transfer I'll make it Faster. <coughs> yeah, let's see now. See? It's deforming. Because if I remove the constraint from being soft to switch to soft, this is what will happen. It just get, get destroyed. So with the switch into soft constraint, it will keep the edge connected. Now the remaining step is to add RBD before pieces. Okay, I need the original geometry. I need the constraint and I need the proxy geometry have a look so I think here I need to divide more so it will have more resolution if I divide it I won't, don't want to concave I want it to proxy Or remesh, we can use remesh. Okay, the remesh. I want to keep the the edge operation. Smoothing. Okay, let's have a look now. Give it a go. Frame it in a good way. I'll make it a little bit thicker. It will recalculate. Give it a moment. Let's go. So this is how you get your deformation. Now other things you need to do is to uh, decrease uh, let's go where it's uh, yeah the damping ratio let's go up and see what will happen I mean how quickly it will be not considered as a spring so it will not uh, bounce and uh, go back to its uh, initial shape do not try to do that okay 
other thing we can also switch we write a uh, wrangle to switch it back from soft constraint back to glue constraint when it reach a special uh, or specific threshold Thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day.